Good morning, everyone. Today we have a pretty big event going on. We showed you the fishing in the river several times already, but today there is a huge fishing event. They have drained a really big, big body of water. We went yesterday and checked it out and it looked pretty incredible. Every body of water tends to hold a different grouping of fish, different species sometimes. So we have our target species that we are really hoping to acquire, but this is a big, big event. I've never seen some so much effort put into uh, something like this. And this was not done specifically for us. This was this was something that was pre-planned and we just happened to be here for it. So I have Apple's father in tow. I have him on the back of the ATV here. And Apple is driving the motorbike along with her mom. But we've stopped at the local little food spot here because Apple says we need to bring some whiskey. And whiskey is kind of the universal lubricant, if you will. It kind of makes everybody happy and puts everybody in a good mood here and everybody really enjoys it. So we are going to stock up on some whiskey and head over to the river and I'll show you guys what's going on. Hopefully it is very interesting to you guys and I hope it's a little bit different than the last one. I have my drone and I'll give you guys some good aerial footage. And that's about it. You guys are coming along with us. I hope you enjoy this one. All right, so this is where we came last night. These guys spent all night in this little makeshift camping area. They had their fire going to keep the mosquitoes away and they just basically spent all night here. So they have some fish for us already that I took a look at real quick in this bucket. And it looks like two puffers and one zigzag eel. The eel has a, a nip out of the tail which is probably from the puffer but uh, puffer fish don't really make good community tank mates. They're like a species specific type of fish that you only keep them together. So if you want all your other fish to kind of disappear and get nipped and eaten then they're a great a great fish to put to eliminate the rest of your uh, tank. So um, Anyway, this is interesting. I haven't seen any puffer fish before this, so that was kind of cool. Apple uh, headed off in front of me, so I'm gonna go tell Um, same what? marbles. Oh, what? <laughs> 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 Prepare those nice fish. He tried to squeeze all the meat out and then he separated the meat over there. And then the meat and the bones, they will make soup out of it. And that meat, they will eat it raw. Sushi. Yes. But a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> we don't eat it with them, but these people they do. That's how they eat. So. Hamachi. Mm. 
จังกุ้งไหเพิ่นเนื้อรสีเฮ้ยดอดดอดรสีรสีได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้ได้แอมจะท้อเลยแม่แค่คือมันเป็นโอ้เขาท้อเหมือนมากบอกที่จะปาดีเลยนะเออกินกินโอ้โหโจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้โจ้ถือไฟมาเชียบบอกเราหนึ่งที Okay, you guys. I saw something really interesting. Not for a fish tank; it's too big. But marbled sand goby, a gigantic one. You guys got to check this out. They are capable of attaining some really big sizes. Check this out. <laughs> ตักน้อยนี่มันมาแม่นหรอกลุงพลลุงกาดเลยสิดัง So we asked our tall friend here to show us what another big fish you have. So they caught this big snake head. So we will see. He gonna show us. So กองเลยไอ้บุญเออ look at that look at the color of that. Oh wow. Look at that. Beautiful. เอาฝากนี้พ่อไหมบุญเออเอาฝากนี้งามงามเพราะว่าใส่กับคนน้อยนะอย่างคือเราทำคนเลยนะครับ Okay so I'm gonna make my way down here to the water. It's probably super muddy and I don't have on the right shoes. But we'll take a look and see what's going on. And I know Apple's already down here. She's standing by with the bucket and those guys. I'm coming, and they know what we're looking for, so they'll call us over if they find the right stuff. It looks like they may have something interesting right now. Actually, let's take a look. Fish. Oh, tiger barbs. Yeah. Oh, cool. We should run to the house first. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yep. And the ring. those all kinds of shrimp. You want some small shrimp? Wow, Apple. Should there's there's some interesting stuff in there. Yeah. What are those dark colored ones? Yeah. I don't know. I told them whatever you guys think is pretty. Gave it all to me. So they're so cute right there. Can you lift that big one out with yes, your hand? Man, yes, I can. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. It's got patterns. It's kind of cool looking though. Interesting. Wow, that's wild looking. Huh? We should bring it to a home I first. I think you're right. Oh, there's a little, little loach or something. Cool, cool. All right, you guys, first trip back to the house with a little 
school of tiger barbs and some other miscellaneous fish that I have no idea what they are. We learned our lesson last time to not wait too long. So we are back at the house. We're gonna start putting these fish away. I know in the last video, I didn't really give you guys a good look other than in the bucket, but trying to preserve the life of these animals, you know, rather than holding them in my hand and putting them through unnecessary stress. We don't have any lights on our fish tank. So the visibility is horrible. When we do get lights, of course, we'll be able to highlight and show you guys all the fish. So I'm gonna hand off the camera to Apple and I'll try to do a better job of showing you what these look like, but these are tiger barbs, wild ones, very common fish in the trade, but they do school together, I believe, and they're they're good community fish, so right there, I don't know if you can see. Day two, getting more fish for the fish tank. We got a whole bunch of tiger barbs yesterday and they are doing amazing. We lost not one fish overnight. They've added tons of life to the tank and they're actually really cool. There's some leaf fish in there. We're pretty excited. That fishing event is gonna go on for about five days and today's the third day. So it's the morning time. We're bringing our bucket with our clean water and we're gonna go over there and see if maybe we can get another 10 or 12 tiger barbs and who knows what else we may come up with but uh, this is a lot of fun and our tank is really big so having a big community and a big variety of fish is actually really cool so we are headed out right now <laughs> Big crown knife. Give him a push, Apple. So a beautiful snake came out of the river here. This is definitely not something that the people here are, are trying to acquire, just sort of a bycatch. 
This is a rainbow water snake, and this is a gravid female, super, super gravid female. Such a wonderful demeanor on these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. So there's twelve what I believe are probably developing embryos. Very, very gravid, you can see. And just a beautiful snake. So we're gonna get it out of here. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna let it go. This seems like there's a lot of stuff going on around here right now. So we may take it and let it go in a different part of this uh, little river system here. But really pretty. Such a tiny little head. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so we got the last batch of tiger barbs. It looks like we have, well, I don't know, maybe another 20 or so. So we're going to throw those guys in here. As you guys can see, they're schooling, they're adding a lot of life to the tank and we're really enjoying them. So that is gonna do it for this video, just another quick one. This is the goofy stuff that we're going through every single day. It's something going on and it's definitely different than back home. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of what we're up to and we're having fun, you know? This is like, this is stuff that, uh, this is like childhood pastimes. This is so great. I'm just really enjoying myself and I hope you guys also enjoy it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.